Welcome back Cap Inventors. I'm going to show a simple way to determine if an integer is even or odd using the math remainder block. We will also look at some ways to do data validation or in other words to make sure that what the user enters into a text box is something that the app can use to do its computations. Let's start by entering some integers and see if they are even or odd. We've got 4 entered here. The number 4 is even. The number 5 is odd. number minus 321 is odd. So this seems to be working. Let's see how it works with the blocks. First we'll <coughs> excuse me, take a look at the remainder math block. The remainder of 8 divided by 2 is equal to 0. So 8 is even. The remainder of 7 divided by 2 is 1 because 7 is not evenly divisible by 2. So 7 is odd. By definition, an integer is even if it is evenly divisible by 2 and this applies to both positive and negative integers. If an integer is not divisible by 2, then it's odd. Another way to say that is, if an integer is divided by 2 and its remainder is 0, then it's even. If there is a remainder other than 0, it's odd. It's easier to write this in App Inventor blocks the second way. If the remainder of the number divided by 2 is 0, then the number is even, otherwise it's odd. So let's look at the blocks that do that. If the remainder of the number that was entered by the user here into the integer text box divided by 2 is equal to 0, then the number is even, otherwise it's odd and that's how it works. Now if that's all that was required this would be much simpler but I found in testing this that there could be some problems and that requires data validation. Let's look at why we need to do data validation. For one reason is the app should only allow the user to enter a positive or negative integer such as 365, 7, 24, minus 32, etc. so we can determine if it's odd or even. But what if the user enters letters or punctuation marks instead? How will the app respond? Most likely with an error message or it may even crash completely. So you will want to find ways to ensure that the data entered is valid. Without using any form of data validation yet, I'll enter something into the text box and we'll view the result. We get an error stating the operation cannot accept the arguments Apple 0 0.5. So there's something we can do about that. We need, we need to prevent the user from entering text when we're expecting a number. One way to do that is to restrict what the user can type on the soft keyboard to a numeric keypad 
with a few other math related keys by taking the numbers only property checkbox for the integer text box component. So here we have the integer text box component selected. We tick numbers only. Now let's try that out. Okay, this time the new numeric keypad pops up. If I enter 42, then we see the number 42 is even. This is an improvement, but it's not foolproof. Because if I type just a hyphen or minus symbol, then click the submit button, I get the error message again. So what we need is a way to determine if the data entered is actually a number. App Inventor has a math block called is a number, which does just that. So we'll incorporate that into our data validation now. Alright, so now we can check if the value entered is a number, and if it is, if it's okay, then we can do the calculation. Otherwise, we'll ask the user to try again. Okay, it says I was expecting an integer like 4 or minus 4. Try again. Okay, and that is the else part here because it determined a hyphen is not a number. So this is handling that situation where it's not a number that was entered. So that's a good start. Now let's try minus 62. The number minus 62 is even. Okay, how about minus 6.2? Minus 6.2 is a valid number. It's a decimal number. It says the number minus 6.2 is odd. What's wrong? Is it the blocks themselves? No, the blocks work only if the data entered is an integer. But minus 6.2 is a decimal value, not an integer, so the test fails. It will always return odd for any decimal value because of the way the blocks are constructed. But the answer is really nonsense. Another way to say this is garbage in, garbage out. As said earlier, the test for even or odd requires that the number be an integer. So we need to prevent the user from entering anything but integer values. Fortunately, there's an easy way to do this by using the math round block. In App Inventor, the math round block works as you would expect for most decimal values. Let's look at some examples. Round 6.9 equals 7. True. Round 6.3 equals 6. That's true. 
round minus 6.9 equals minus 7. That's true. Round minus 6.3 equals minus 6, and that's true. Now, round 4.5 equals 5, that is false. And the reason is because App Inventor always rounds numbers that have an even whole part down when the decimal value is, act, is exactly 0.5 and always rounds numbers that have odd whole parts up when the decimal value is exactly 0.5. This gives a better average result when rounding many numbers rather than always rounding numbers containing 0.5 up. And that's called round round half to even. Now back to the problem at hand. How is the round block used to test if a number is an integer? The idea is to test the original number entered by the user against a rounded version of itself. If the original number was an integer, then rounding it will have no effect. And when comparing the rounded version to the original version, such as these examples, round 25 equals 25, that's true. Round 4.7 equals 4.7 is false. And that's what you see because the this case 4.7 contained decimal places. A decimal number and an integer will not be equal. So the original number 4.7 is not an integer. Note also if a number contains only zeros after the decimal point in App Inventor such as this example, the number is equal to its integer counterpart. So round integer 45 is equal to 45.000. So let's add the final blocks to complete our data validation to ensure that our user's input is an integer. Okay, let's test with our minus 6.2 again. Now it's catching the fact that this was not an integer entered. I was expecting an integer like 4 or minus 4. Try again. Okay, so it seems to be working correctly now. Well, we've shown how to determine if an integer is even or odd, and a few methods to validate input. Now go out there and show us your skills, and as always, happy inventoring.